Welcome to Learn News. Subscribe to my channel for exciting tutorials. Hey there. Hi all. Welcome once again to Learn News. Today I have come back with another exciting tutorial for you all and uh, it's regarding uh, GCP's one product and I am continuing the fourth uh, lecture on GCP. This is the fourth tutorial after a long time. I had a break with the uh, Google Cloud Platform but I have come back again and today's topic of discussion is Cloud Run. Cloud Run what basically it is you might ask me. Well those of you have seen my Fargate tutorial you know that we create images and push it to the Elastic Container Registry in case of AWS and from there we use simple Fargate solutions where we deploy the those images in containerized environment uh, and we are charged as per the uh, ex ex the executable runtime or the usage what we do okay so the similar solution and the Google counterpart is cloud run so these are the benefits like you can write your code by simply deploying it and uh, write your code your on your way and simply deploy them in any container that li listens on the request or events and uh, there are different use cases as you can see you can find it in the if you simply google it with the uh, cloud run uh, in your google uh, browser you will be able to see it and these are the numerous uh, use cases which are available like web services for websites for rest apis back office administration lightweight data transformation anything you want to do that could be done with the help of cloud runs uh, these features provided by google so simply uh, what i will do is come back to my uh, google cloud home page over here and i will select the cloud run over here yes and this is cloud run the page is loading for a while and meanwhile i will open my github So here is an important project which uh, important basic project which I created long back over here which is Spring Boot REST API and you will find it here that I have what I did is just expose a simple hello world uh, endpoint over here and this is the corresponding docker file of that and here what we are doing that from open JDK 8 JDK Alpine we are simply uh, taking a base image for OpenJDK 8 of Alpine image and uh, we are copying the jar and we are simply executing java-jar command okay so if we come on to the Google Cloud platform this page is taking time to load let me reload it once it will come back quickly as I hope yes and if we come back let us come back here uh, if the entry point is java-jar app.jar our one endpoint would be exposed where which will be when uh, it's a get API if after hitting that we'll get a cert certain message that we did it from here so this is the interface okay but uh, of, of uh, the cloud run but first of all what we need to do is we need to open the activate the cloud shell we'll be starting the cloud shell over here this establishing connection cloud shell is a wonderful thing wonderful stuff you can do it over here and uh, the first thing that I am going to do is clone my project okay so by default here you will find everything Java gate uh, gradle maven everything is present over here so what I simply do is uh, here I will pull the git clone and Spring Boot REST API I will use it copy it and in this cloud shell I will be pasting it once the cloning is done I will see that my folder is present CD Spring Boot REST API and inside this folder I will go and I will execute maven clean installation over here clean install hyphen d skip tests equal to true once we do that our maven installation will happen quickly 
and uh, once the maven installation is completed what we will get is a jar file and uh, that jar file we need to use it and we'll place it over that base image we'll create an image of the final one and we'll push it to the uh, registry will contain a registry and then finally uh, from there we will use the cloud run the cloud run will simply pull the uh, whatever uh, jar is uh, whatever image is there uh, that we specify it and it will run the application as you can see the dependency is getting downloaded and a couple of minutes I will pause the video meanwhile and yes we are done with the uh, Maven clean installation one more minute is left what I believe And yes, finally, our installation is done, Maven installation. So after this, we have a target folder. And inside this target folder, you will find that .jar file is there. Okay, so this is Spring Boot demo .jar. This is our main jar. So we shall do what uh, will come back over here. And here our docker file is available so we will do a docker build docker build hyphen t say for example we give it like gcr.io and our project id over here will take it from here the name i am deliberately giving it in this way so that we don't need to go for it separately uh, tagging and we will give like hello app followed by version v1 okay and dot so here our docker build is done and it's completed so we will do what we will try to push it simply So we have pushed it. And so meanwhile I will do what? I will open a new tab over here where I will open our images container registry and in the container registry once I pushed it you will be able to find our image which is hello app and it is the host name is gcr.io and it's a private repository and inside this hello app you will find our image so this is the image and the time is this is the time well uh, one important point that i need to mention it is there is a paid service where you can check the vulnerabilities of our images whatever that we are pushing it to the registry that one can be enabled while going to the settings section enable vulnerability scanning okay now once we have pushed it uh, it is our uh, it is our time to configure a new service in our cloud run so i will select create service from here and uh, cloud run which is fully managed or we can choose anthos over here anthos is another product we will discuss discuss about it someday and so the name that i need that i will provide is lenews1 okay and after that there will be an option for the image selection so what i will do is i will be selecting our image hello app this is the repository once i open it and i select the image and after that i will select next and allow unauthenticated invocation and i will create it 
the creation won't take much time maybe a couple of minutes even lesser than that meanwhile let me close the other tabs in order to create some confusions yes once it is completed you will find different parameters over here you can uh, actually check uh, the URL which is present over here you will copy it simply and you will paste it over here since it's a Spring Boot application by default you will see something in the page the first time if you hit it it will take a bit time but not too much yes and now I will add I shall add the rest API endpoint which was hello and as you can see on the screen let me increase the magnification and you will find this this is the response that we are getting so we have beautifully deployed a, a wonderful uh, image okay and in the cloud run and we are accessing it to the public URL whichever it is present so you can change it accordingly like implementing authentication you want that uh, to be more secured uh, that part and here you will find different matrices in the cloud run that how many times uh, uh, our uh, no error found during this interval how many times uh, there is a request count and how much how much errors or any uh, request latencies are there or not there are different parameters that will be available uh, in the revisions like the image revisions if you want to deploy a fresh uh, image you can do it and uh, you will also find the logs over here logs will take much uh, won't take much time the logs will fall over here and uh, if you want to this is the log you can see the logs over here so it's wonderful okay and here if you want to add certain triggers you can add it and uh, these are the details over here unauthenticated uh, connectivity is external and in the yml section you will find the entire service like entire kubernetes uh, service details how it has been done how uh, what are the details how the deployment automatically happened for us okay and here are the permissions we can set up a continuous deployment there uh, you can say select there are options over here and uh, there are edit and deploy and if you want you can do that new revision so I will do what so the costing the about the cloud run let me come on to that part cloud run cost GCP cloud run costing the pricing is very low the pricing if I come down to the documentation over here like uh, the first uh, free tier according to the free tier first 8 to 1 8 uh, 000 vcpu seconds free per month and there are free tier on uh, memory request and networking as well if there are two tiers uh, where you can uh, actually increase the beyond the free quota if it goes you will be charged accordingly okay so this is quite a uh, manageable and uh, payable one payable part so this is the uh, this is all about the cloud run let me delete this one so you found it uh, interesting i hope so this concludes our session over here on cloud run i will be coming back soon with uh, other stuffs of gcp and will also continue with the spring boot part subscribe to my channel and like my videos watch my videos full and press the bell icon for more notifications okay thank you all thanks for watching learn news